LeBron James scored 40 points in LA's 116 to 104 win over the Nets last night, joining Michael Jordan as the only players in NBA history with multiple games of 40 points or more after turning 39. LeBron has now done it twice, while Jordan, who played until he was 40, did it three times. LeBron, how much time you got left in you? Not very long. Not very long. Um, I'm on the other side, obviously at a hill, so uh, I'm not going to play another 21 years. That's for damn sure, but uh, not very long. Um, I don't know what, uh, when that door will close as far as my, when I'll retire, but I don't have much time left. All right, Shannon, I'm going to start with you on this one. Is this the Lakers' last dance? No, because if the reports are true, they're looking to pay a third, a third superstar with AD and LeBron next season. So, look, LeBron's saying that I don't know why anybody, y'all want me to interrupt my normally scheduled programming for a guy that's 39 years of age, that's in year 21 playing a professional sport, and he comes to the realization he doesn't have much time left. Now, had Luca said this, had uh, uh, Nikola Jokic said this, Jason Tatum, now I would start to worry. I was like, Stephen A., what's going on? What are you hearing? But the man is 39. He's in 20, year 21. How many more years do you think he's going to play? You can see him starting to set things up. He de he's doing the podcast with JJ. Very good podcast. You see Savannah. I think she's starting to start, uh, uh, start a podcast. So you see, Stephen A., he's starting to prepare himself for things outside of the game of basketball. Yes, we know he has a production company, him and Mav, and they've been scheduled to do three events. I think uh, the Jesse Owens story, the Jim Thorpe story, and another story to be named at a later date and time. So you see LeBron preparing himself to do things outside of the game of basketball. Now, we know the first and foremost thing that's on his mind is to become an owner. He's probably eyeing that team in Vegas. How close is that to become a realization of, of Stephen A? You would know better than I. But I am not surprised that LeBron is saying that I'm getting closer to the end than the beginning because he is 39 years of age, right. he is in year 21, and he plays a professional sport. But I couldn't tell. Did you see that yesterday? Yo, goat could never. Yo, goat could never. Whoever your goat may be, oh, he know who it is. is. Yeah. You know it. I don't know who it is. Whoever my goat, I don't, I don't, I don't whoever my goat go, go be, you better watch your mouth. You I, know exactly who my goat is. I, don't, did it three I times, know it. Is. As I said, Christine, you did it three Christine times. the one thing you're gonna learn about Shannon Sharp, I don't like to do conjecture. I don't like to do speculation or innuendo. So whoever Stephen A. Goat may be, when was the last time he went 13 or 17, nine or 10 from the three uh, three point line and dropped 40 in an official? of fashion as we've ever seen. I saw the brother drop over 40 when he was 40. Yeah, I don't know no, what you're talking that. about. I did so that's say number that. one. I did number say two, that. When, when he probably took it 40 <laughs> shots. I, I answered your question. That's number one. Number two, for somebody that's so bloviating about how to go, I don't see no. Hey, you know what? How come you only been to two games this year? You only been to a couple of games this year. I wonder why. Number three, when you're talking about conjecture and all of that other stuff, you have a whole lot of time, not just with Shay Shay, but with Nike. Y'all do a hell of a job with that stuff. Don't, don't even start with me, okay? People taking notes from you right now. I ain't, that's a compliment, my brother. Don't even worry about it. But here's the deal, Shannon. I'm going to tell you this. And you didn't bring this up, so I'm going to bring it up for you because I know you leave these things out. Because, see, I know you well enough to know you know what you're talking about. You also know what to leave out because you're slick like that. But it's okay. I'm what here happened? for it. The Los Angeles Lakers have won six of their last seven games. They're 18 and 8 since February 1st, tied for the fifth best record in the NBA during this stretch, right? Very, very impressive. Wouldn't you say, Christine? Pretty I'd solid. say so. They're still a ninth seed. They're still a ninth seed despite that, okay? Not to mention the fact that they're playing. Bet they're playing 500 ball against the top six seeds in the Western Conference. What I'm saying to you is this question is relevant, Shannon, because here's what I'm trying to brace you for. The end is near in terms of your GOAT ever winning the championship again, unless he planning on leaving Tinseltown. You understand what I'm saying? And let's not forget the acting, because he did a great, great job in the movie Trainwreck. He was fabulous in the movie yeah. Trainwreck. You know, LeBron did some acting yeah. there, too, all right? So, yeah, 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 he's doing a lot of things to prepare himself post, like all of that <laughs> other. And he still got mo enough money. He don't ever have to work another day in his life. But here's the point, Shannon. When you look at 
those other teams within the Western Conference, by the way, who are all considerably younger, by the way, who are better, okay, and are standing as figurative and literal roadblocks to whatever aspirations he may have as being a champion again, as long as he's going to stay in L.A. with the Los Angeles Lakers, there's nothing foreshadowing championship on their horizons. So the bottom line is this. This is my opinion. This is the last dance. With LeBron James playing the way that he's playing, I don't expect him to be better next year than he is this year. I you expect he, him to be worse? I'm not saying that, but I said I okay. don't expect him to be better. I'm not expect, I would not disrespect him like that. He's too great for me to assume that because we've seen him defy father time and odds for so long. But I don't expect him to be better. I damn sure don't expect the rest of his crew to be better. And so I'm looking at the Los Angeles Lakers, and I'm like, yo, the time is now because guess what? Oklahoma City ain't going to get worse. Minnesota ain't going to get worse. Four Denver one. ain't going to get worse. Dallas ain't going to get worse. That's the only I, team I'm I, concerned about. Who? The Nuggets. Okay. I, that, but that's what I'm saying. If you don't do it this year, what you think your chance is going to be next year and beyond? This is it. That's why I'm saying this question is relevant. Because to me, what I'm seeing from LeBron and what I'm seeing from the Lakers, this is it. It don't get much better for you moving forward. That's what I'm saying. I can't say that I disagree with you because they've gotten 70 games out of Anthony Davis and he's giving you 24 and 12 and a half. D'Lo has been sensational since the tra trade deadline, and he's been consistent, notwithstanding the uh, uh, the Indiana game. But other than that, he's been solid, average, giving you about 20 a night. Austin, and Rui Hachimura has been great. So you're absolutely right. The likelihood of we getting AD to play another 70-plus games next year, and LeBron still – I'm not worried about LeBron because I still believe because of the way he's shooting the ball, he still can get downhill, and you have to respect his ability to drive the basketball. But the pieces are – everything seemingly had fallen in place this year with Anthony Davis' help, LeBron James' help. Remember, Stephen A., he didn't have to deal with that foot injury uh, this year. Anthony Davis didn't miss 35, 40 games this year. So a lot of things went well for the Lakers, and you're absolutely right. They need to cash in on it this year because there are no givens that everybody will be healthy again next year, and this team will come back. They're going to be looking to, to add some pieces and maybe some solid pieces go. But as long as LeBron and AD are there, I like their chances this year, especially if D'Lo gives me what he's been giving me and Rui has been coming on as of late. But I can't disagree with you. There is no guarantee that the health factor in 24-25 will be what it was in 23-24. Well, well I, I'm saying, but what I want you to understand is that health is one component. Let's not ignore that, and I appreciate you mentioning that. But I'm talking about skill. I'm talking from the standpoint that you've got some young thoroughbreds on the come up, along with seasoned veterans that are champions in Denver, literally standing in their path. Look at the teams above them in the Western Conference. Who's fading? Who's falling? Who's falling off? None of them. And I'm saying to you, if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, time is not on your side. The level of urgency has to be now. The level of urgency, you've got, you've got to propel yourself to another level this season, this season, right now, as opposed to asking a soon-to-be 40-year-old entering his 22nd season next year, mm -hmm. along with Anthony Davis, to save the day for you. Because these brothers out west, they're not going away. So if, to me, if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, the time is right now. Because of how LeBron looks, because of how AD looks, because of the way they've come together over the last month and month and a half or so, you've got to capitalize on this moment now. If you don't, you don't have a chance in the future as far as I'm concerned. I don't see Let me ask you Okay, who on the who on the Timberwolves have championship experience? Who on no, OKC no, no. has championship experience? No, no, no. Who on Sacramento? Remember last year, Sacramento, Sacramento. No, no, no. And Sacramento, they're still Sacramento, better than the Lakers. They're not. Sacramento swept them this year. Four they times. don't mean nothing. Don't, don't mean nothing. Once we get nothing. to the playoffs, that's a whole different ball game. Hold on. This man been on TV for 47 years, and he tell me once the playoff hits, it's a different story. <laughs> it's a different story. And now all of a sudden, you say the regular season and the hold playoffs on, are hold exactly hold the same. On. I said the playoffs is a different story depending on who you're going up against. Now, you got to remember. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Stay with me. Sacramento, you see him last year against Golden State? You see that seven-game series? Does that, look like, does that look like a team that can't beat the Los Angeles Lakers come playoff time? Does Did you Dallas, see up last the way year? Luka, excuse me, is Kyrie not a champion? 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you seen Kyrie and Luca play together? Yes. Oh, Denver, you yes. acknowledge Denver, right? So I gave you three right there. I understand Oklahoma City and Minnesota are relatively young, but Minnesota, number one defensively, would a goat bear and cat comes back? Along with an Anthony Edwards, you got a problem there now because they got some size. You got to hit jump shots to beat them. You can't do much on the interior. What are you talking can, about? Man, look here. First of all, Anthony Davis will make make Gray Poupon, excuse me, Rudy Bo Gobert make a mess of it. You know that, I know that. <laughs> yeah, mustard everywhere. Golden mustard, golden mustard, <laughs> everywhere. We're going to make a mess of it. And you know they ain't got nobody to deal with Goat James. You know that, I know that. They don't have anybody to deal with Goat James. Excuse me. They got a few brothers that can answer the call. In terms of what they can bring offensively to the table, I, I can't ignore that. You see, uh, Shea Gilgis, everybody keep talking about Jokic. Shea Gilgis Alexander right now is my leading candidate for league MVP. Shea Gilgis you Alexander. You wasted your vote. He, 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 it's, it's Stephen A., if you vote for say, Shea Gilgis for the uh, MVP, it's just like voting for the third party in an election. You wasted your vote. That's all you do, because you know Yo got it. You know, you did you see what Yo did yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Did you see what Gil just did last night, closing out my name? And did you see what Luca? See did you see what Luca did? I understand that. Have you okay. noticed that there's been about 40 games where Shea Gilgis Alexander has dropped over 30? I mean, we just gonna ignore that? We no, just gonna ignore no. that? Let me ask you a question. Top two seed in the West? If Yo, if Yo, if Yo said, you know what, guys, for the next two weeks, I'm gonna see how many. He'll give you 40 on the night. You can't stop him. And what, and what, would, Shea, and what would Shea Gill just do? he give you what he gives. But see, we give you 18. We give you 18 assists. We give you 14 assists. We give you 12, 13, 16, 20 rebounds. You sleeping Come on, on Shea. You sleeping on Shea. No, he's, he's right phenomenal. There. He's all Pre NBA. He's got to be all NBA, Presti, him and Luke. Presti, Presti's made one mistake. He should have, whether it's an Andre Drummond or somebody, he should have just got a big body to rebound and defend because, yeah. obviously, Chet Holmgren is real thin. You should have yeah. got that. But outside of that, OKC, I'm not sleeping, brother.